What's up guys, it's Dwayne back again for another video, back again for another reaction and today is a great, wonderful, beautiful, amazing, delicious, incredible day. Do you know why? <laughs> because it's a Finland day and maybe a Sweden day. Sweden is the annoying neighbour of Finland. Is that true guys? Let me know. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Let's go. Are you like Homer Simpson? And I don't mean fat and ugly. What huh? I mean is, do you have a neighbor that annoys you? Well, Finland has one. Um, not talking about neighbors as in like um my next door neighbor. My next door neighbor, I don't know who they are, so I don't have an annoying neighbor. England, do we have an annoying neighbor? Yes, we do. <laughs> do we? <laughs> I think we have a little brother like Scotland and we kind of probably annoy each other a little bit. Um, but yeah, we get along. If you would examine the everyday life of the Finnish people, you would probably get an impression that Finland doesn't like Sweden that much. Now, <gasps> to make things clear, Finland does not really hate Sweden per se. Okay. After all, we are quite similar. But from time to time, Sweden annoys the shit out of the Finnish people. Uh. To understand better the relationship between Finland and Sweden, we need to learn a little bit of history, because Sweden has had a huge role in the history of Finland. The history mm. between Finland and Sweden began almost 1000 years ago, when Sweden decided that it was their duty as a Christian country to save their pagan neighbors by invading their land. Congratulations. Ah. You are being rescued. Please do not resist. So that's quite funny. <laughs> Finnish pagans, interested. So was Sweden was Sweden a very Christian nation before they came in contact with Finland? Um and did they invade Finland for those purposes? Was it because they were pagans and they wanted uh Finnish people to become Christians? Let me know what that, that is all about. Let me know in the comment section. The best way to get new members to the Club of Christ was to send people who already ah. belonged to the club to live with those filthy pagans. There you go. That's how the Swedish-speaking population of Finland was born. Finland was part of Sweden for a long time, but they lost Finland to Russia in the Finnish war that took place between 1808 and 1809. Right. Losing Finland was a big loss for Sweden, in the years of Swedish rule, Finland had given Sweden resources, men for the Swedish army, and a good human shield against attacks from the east. Some of you may die. It's a sacrifice. I am willing, willing to make. To make. <laughs> these are see, these are some really good memes, really good um, <laughs> edits. This is that's really funny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all in good humor, isn't it? Sweden. So, yeah. So, obviously, Finland was... You guys owned Finland, and you use a lot of the men for army, and you took a lot of resources. But that's normal for countries that don't... Like, any country that colonizes another country, that's what they do. So, it's in the past. It's in the past. You're both independent countries now, and you're friends. The Swedish people that resided in Finland formed most of the nobles in the land. They were better people than the Finnish peasants, or as they would say, better folk. And this image of the Swedish-speaking people in Finland, known as Suomen Ruotsalaiset, has stuck with them throughout the years. So if you meet a person who is Suomen Ruotsalainen, the basic assumption is that they are extremely wealthy and better than you in every way. But Sweden has also other forms of superiority when compared to Finland besides the financial one. The most obvious one would be sports, because when Finland and Sweden are competing, Finland is usually the underdog. Ah. For example, in ice hockey, Sweden has humiliated us many times. Then there are things like music, where Sweden, yet again, is arguably and without a doubt on completely another level than Finland. <laughs> to add insult to injury, the Swedish language is an official language in Finland. 
and it is mandatory language to learn in our school system. Right. So, there you have it. Our neighbor is much more successful than... And the thing is, like, it's not mandatory in, fin- uh, in Sweden to learn Finnish. So it's an unequal balance, right? We are. And when combined with all the other reasons mentioned earlier, it is only natural that Sweden grinds our gears from time to time. And partly because of this, we like to make fun out of Sweden quite a lot. Wait, one second, sorry. Um, yeah, one second. I just wanted to look at this map. Who do Europeans joke about most? Interesting. Who do Europeans joke about most? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, in Norway, they joke about Swedes. That's Norway, right? In Sweden, they joke about... Is that Denmark? Not Denmark. Is that... Oh, my God, my flags. My flags! Um, I need to know my flags. No, that's... That's Norway. That's a Norway. That's a Norwegian flag, right? Yeah, that's a Norwegian flag. Whew, took me a second. So Swedes joke about Norwegians the most. Norwegians joke about Swedish the most. Denmark, people from Denmark joke about the Swedish the most. Uh, <laughs> so the Finnish people joke about Swedes the most as well. Is that Estonia? I don't know what that is but they joke about the Finns. That's interesting. Well, you guys are not the butt of the joke. Finnish people are not the butt of the joke. Swedes, though, on the other hand, a lot of Scandinavia uh, jokes about you. Interesting. <laughs> it's all in good humour. And the whole of the United Kingdom, including Scotland and England and Wales, joke about the Irish. And the Irish joke about the Brits. Interesting. And partly because of this, we like to make fun out of Sweden quite a lot. <laughs> like every other nation, we too tell jokes about our neighbor, where we portray them as dumb or something in that nature. But when your neighbor is better than you in almost everything, this is not enough. When you are outmatched like we are, there is only one option for you. You call them gay. Yeah, well, you're a fucking faggot. Yeah, well, I'm superior, that's all. You just gotta know it. Every native... Um, yeah, to all my gay subscribers, sorry about that. <laughs> it's not a good fun. You are Swedish, that means talking. you're gay. Because in Finland, Sweden equals gay jokes have been around for decades. Okay. Okay. But where do these jokes come from? <laughs> well, one could say that the Swedes were more open-minded than the Finns back in the day, since you could be legally gay in Sweden for almost 30 years earlier than in Finland. Wow. But most likely, calling the Swedes gay was some sort of jealousy or defense mechanism. Maybe it was more tolerable to be poor when you thought that the Swedes who ate good food and dressed in fancy clothes took dicks in their asses. <laughs> gay! Oh but the truth is that these kind of jokes are getting a little bit old. They are, because back in the day when you used to call someone gay, that even I used to use in, in high school call people gay, that used to be an insult. That used to be something that was like, oh no, you're gay. Ha 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 ha. You're not a real man. Ha 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 ha. Um, but we're in 2023. And in 2023, those jokes are not funny anymore. They're not. They're just kind of. Well, gay people are very successful and well-dressed uh, and funny, great entertainers. So that's not, they're not funny anymore. <laughs> so you need to find a new joke, Finland. You need to find a new joke for Sweden because gay is not funny. And since there are all kinds of woke cultures going around, maybe oh, we should cultures. stop making these immature jokes. But this sends us back to the start. How can we make fun out of Sweden when they are so goddamn perfect? They seem to pull bigger numbers on every metric. You could even say that these guys are on fire. They are on fire. Haha. <laughs> 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 it's funny because it's true.
Interesting. It's all in good fun. It's all in good fun. You guys are, you have a historical uh, tie as two countries. You have a historical rival as two countries. And one is the big brother and one's the little brother. Finland sounds like the little brother, the little jealous brother. But shouldn't be because Finland has a lot going for it as I've learned about so, like so far. Finland is a very progressive country. I just love the dry sense of humor, amazing humor. Uh, I would say one of the best in the Nord the best humors in the Nordic countries, out of the Nordic countries. And um, yeah, you both have like a lot going for yourselves separately. And also, uh, to be fair, in the Eurovision, you guys, they come runner up to Sweden. <laughs> there is that like rivalry, isn't it? not fair i was rooting for finland as well as sweden i they were my two favorite acts laureen and karia both were my favorite acts in eurovision so to pick between the two i, I couldn't um i do feel like finland maybe if fin maybe finland should have won because yeah laureen had already won so did she need to win again but did the best person win? They were both great. So yeah, but I can see there's, there's an obvious rival uh, rivalry, <laughs> and it's fine because you love each other because you're siblings. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next day, we will chat again. See you later.